Hello everyone, today I'm working in mammography. Here's our memo machine. And today I am working on the diagnostic side. So I'm just showing you all what I am doing today. Those are the compression paddles that we're using. So what I like to do first is I like to check my schedule to see how many diagnostic patients I have, what type of exams I have to do, what is the reasoning for the diagnostic exam. So this is what I'm doing now. And then I am just stocking, making sure that we have the fresh wipes to wipe off the deodorant. So I'm just using this for the basket for each patient. Sometimes they have deodorant on, but it has to be removed for the mammography exam so that they do not get a call back. And sometimes the deodorant can look like they, there are something in their breasts. So I'm just stocking the room. These are the deodorant wipes that the patient will use if they want to just refresh after the mammogram. So this is for after the mammogram. And then I'm just stocking the supplies, getting everything ready for the day. And then sometimes whenever patients come in, um, we just make sure that we have those wipes for them. And the next thing I'm going to do is just stock the paper towels that we use to help clean out the machine. And I'm just getting ready for everything just so that I do not have to go rush out and grab something else if I need more paper towels. And then I just need to go grab some alcohol um, bottle. I forgot my alcohol bottle, so that's what I'm just going to do. And then I'm just going to fill it up because this is what we use to help clean the machine as well. So I'm just putting more solution in this bottle. And we do spray this on the machine before and after each patient just to make sure that the machine is clean. I do make sure that I wear gloves with every patient that I come in contact with and then making sure that I wash my hands frequently using hand sanitizer frequently just to get everything ready for the day is what I'm doing. Whenever a patient does come in for a diagnostic mammogram, there are certain things we have to select. Some of them is in this area, some you have to find. So if they come in for a lump, you just put it on this picture, just showing where the patient has the lump at. And this also applies for pain. You just put it where the patient is stating that they have the pain and any other thing that you can see and just put the time frame the patient said that they are having the pain or the lump for and you also want to make sure that you put it in the notes so when a patient come in for a diagnostic mammogram it's for a lot of reasons it could be for pain and also for lumps, if a patient has pain or feel lumps on their breast, that could be a reason for a diagnostic mammogram. And sometimes if a patient has nipple discharge, they will come in for a diagnostic mammogram. And if something is found on a screening mammogram, the patient will come in for a diagnostic mammogram. There are several reasons why a patient may need a diagnostic mammogram. They probably have history of breast cancer. They probably had a lumpectomy done and they're coming in for like a short term follow up or a six month follow up for a lumpectomy protocol. So I just like to get everything just ready for the patient. We wipe down the machines frequently. We use several different paddles depending on what type of diagnostic exams that we are doing. Um, some of the reasons for a diagnostic exam based off of an abnormal screening mammogram will probably be like asymmetric breast tissue. If an abnormality was found, then the radiologist is making sure it wasn't like it could be like a cyst or a fibroadenoma that would require also like a breast ultrasound. So sometimes when patients come in, they get the diagnostic mammogram and or breast ultrasound. And then right here, these are some of the paddles we use. This is for 
breast calcifications if a patient come back for calcifications and then we have more paddles that we use like for asymmetric breast tissue and then we still use our standard other paddles like your large paddle or your small paddle um, for your true lateral position and also bilateral diagnostics and then at the end of the day I just make sure that I have enough gowns or robes for the patient I'm just getting this stock for the next day but other than that if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this feel free to subscribe thank you all for watching 